Achoo! Oh, sorry, I'm allergic to global warming. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. Asthma has been back in the headlines ever since President Obama claimed his daughter's asthma might be related to climate change. So what is asthma? Well, according to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute, asthma is a chronic lung disease that can sometimes make it hard to breathe. This can sometimes happen in reaction to some airborne substance like pollen or dust. The walls of the airways get inflamed and thickened, and the muscles around it can tighten up too. The airway can also fill up with mucus, all of which narrows the pipeline getting oxygen to your lungs. Asthma attacks can be mild, with symptoms going Going away on their own, but other times they need medical attention. While there is no cure, symptoms are managed with lifestyle strategies like avoiding pollen or air pollution when possible, or with medicine like an inhaler which contains albuterol. When albuterol comes into contact with muscles lining your airways, the muscle relaxes and you can breathe a little easier. Unfortunately, asthma still kills thousands of people every year, according to the CDC. So how is asthma related to climate change? The CDC says the number of people diagnosed with asthma grew by 4.3 million between 2001 and 2009 in the United States. That's like a 28% increase. Some populations were hit worse than others, people from low-income areas, the elderly, and children. Children are especially vulnerable to asthma. Asthma is the third leading cause of hospitalization for kids. Some researchers see climate change as a possible cause of this rise in cases of asthma. Most people think of big storms and disastrous droughts when you talk about climate change. But according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, more frequent, intense, and longer-lasting extreme heat events could exacerbate many of the conditions that trigger nasty cases of asthma. Climate change could increase ground-level ozone, a primary and toxic component of smog. Breathing ozone isn't good for you. It feels a lot like an asthma attack even in healthy people. You might feel chest pain or start coughing, your throat might hurt, or you could get all mucusy. It could also trigger an increase in asthma attacks. Over time, ozone can even create scar tissue in your lungs. And it's found to be associated with an increased risk of death. Smog forms when exhaust from cars react with oxygen and sunlight, so this could be a nasty problem for people in cities with lots of traffic. As the earth warms and certain parts of the world dry up, forest fires might be on the rise. Wildfire smoke contains particulate matter, carbon monoxide, and pollutants, and could travel downwind in towns and cities, irritating the lungs and complicating cardiovascular issues. Climate change will increase carbon dioxide concentrations and could lead to shorter winters in some parts of the world. Shorter winters mean a longer growing season for pollen-producing plants, like Minnesota's ragweed season increased by 21 days. There's even a chance these conditions could make pollen and other allergens stronger. Tackling the challenge of climate change wouldn't just be good for Mother Earth, it might make us all breathe a little easier. And many people are taking drastic steps to combat it. Check out this video from Seeker explaining how cloning giant redwood trees can help. The tree's massive size means they can absorb large quantities of carbon dioxide and help combat climate change. Alright, do you get asthma and allergies? What do you find triggers it? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week.